We have to develop in love. We have to develop in truth. We have to develop in transparency like Rashad was doing earlier. We have to we have to develop in kindness. We have to develop in mercy. We have to develop in being able to receive instruction as readily as we're as we are to give it. <clears throat> and we have to be able to receive it with humility. So we have to die to flesh, we have to die to self. We have to give up our rights to retaliate and tell somebody off because we want to represent God above representing ourselves. And all of that, the hunger for God, for his presence, to get to know him, the hunger for his righteousness, the hunger for his word. As, as you read his word, then the Holy Spirit will begin to give you understanding. The more you read, the more understanding will supernaturally come to you. But it's in the reading that you gain. It's in the doing that it happens. You don't wait for it to happen for you to do. You do, then it happens. Like the Israelites stepping into the water before the water parted. And, you know, when Joshua was leading them. So there are things that we are required to do in order to see the fruition of our deliverance, to see the fruition of our growth, the fruition of maturity, of strength of authority over the darkness, authority over demons, all of that. Okay. He'll leave him dormant until you have totally committed your life to the Lord. Then they start to rise. Well, there are times when you're trying to rise to what God has called you to do when the demons try to attack you with fear and intimidation. And they will try to neutralize the weaponry that God has already planted within you because he does not want you to allow yourself to be used by God. He doesn't want it. So he will send all kinds of demonic attacks. Why are they attacking you? To make you question you. To make you question where you are with God and where you are in your spiritual walk. And there's no question, but that's their assignment. And they're using the gift that God has given you to channel in to mess with you. So at, th at those times, you must read scripture. You must equip yourself. You must build up yourself in the most holy faith. You must put on the whole armor of God because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. You have to build yourself up in God's word. You have to equip yourself and read it out loud and tell yourself, I am chosen. I am, I am a child of the most high king. God, Jesus, you read the words of Jesus. I have given you authority. You shall cast out demons. You shall raise the sick. You shall heal. You shall raise the dead. You shall heal the sick. You shall deliver. You shall do all these things in my name. That's your authority. And once you recognize and are convinced of your authority, then what you end up doing is taking authority over the spiritual bullies who have been taking authority over you. And you shut that mess down. It may take time, but you keep at it till they're all gone. Gee, when God told the Israelites to drive out the enemy, it's the attitude. We must have a killer instinct. There is a time to kill. And when you're ready to kill, you're ready to do damage to these demons who have been damaging you. Time out. We're done. No more. Stops here. Ends. Over. Case closed. Curtain down. Show's over. Party's over. Go. Never return. Or I will put a hurting on you through God's angels. I mean, you have to, you have to have that fearless, fearless, tenacious. You have to be more, more persistent than they are. You have to be more relentless than they are. You have to be more murderous because they can't hurt you like you can hurt them. And they know it. Problem is, do you?